Hey there, YouTube. This is Greg ME2005, and today we're going to do an oil change on the tractor. I've had this tractor running for about an hour. The video previously to this one was the first startup, and we had some issues with the battery not holding its charge all through the winter, even though it was inside the house in the closet on a block of wood. Lesson to be learned there. So the oil is nice and hot. I got some four cycle safe. 30 oil and this is a 48 ounce oil container that's what it takes this tractor and my oil drum will not fit underneath there in that space so i'm just going to use an old coffee can and we're going to drain the oil and one of my viewers commented on the video update one about the oil plug i was going to put an extension on there but i didn't really realize what this was in the owner's manual so i guess this is for the oil so we're going to do it, we're going to try it out. I'm going to get this angle set up on the camera real nice. You'll need a half inch, let's see, you'll need a half inch wrench. All right, that view looks pretty good right there, guys. You'll need a half inch wrench and a rag and something to catch the oil. So set this up here. And I kind of just tuck this underneath there. And once I get the oil pouring out, I'll put that back on there. Let's see. Give this. Ooh, that's hot. That oil pan bolt is hot. Very hot. Wiggle more. There we go. We're getting some more there, guys. I don't want to burn my hands there. So I get this lined up here. Here we go. Gonna start coming out lightly. There we go, guys. Just like that. Hopefully, it doesn't go all over the place. We'll just let that fall in there. I'm hoping this doesn't go all over the tractor. There we go. I see a little bit behind there. Hey, the oil's decently dirty, decently clean. Whichever way you want. There we go. Loosen that up for some more air. That's quite a bit of oil in there. That's a 30 ounce coffee can getting filled up. Glad I fired up the tractor. Because that oil came out pretty good. And this is the original oil in the tractor too. I didn't put enough hours on it last year to change it out. I didn't think it needed it. Kind of glad I waited. But normally you guys can get away with doing this once a year. Even if you use the tractor a whole heck of a lot. You could probably still get away with doing it once a year. It's not going to hurt it. See if I can get this in here without making a mess. Oh. Made a little bit of a mess. No big deal. Put this over here. We got a little bit on the frame. I just don't want to get it on a pulley system. So that's a good thing. You could probably use a crescent wrench for this too if you don't have a half inch wrench. Or you can use a half inch socket as well. I don't want to go too tight. Just enough where that's not going to come off again. And that's pretty good. I'm just going to wipe this all down. That didn't make too much of a mess. I thought that was going to make a bigger mess than that. 
the oil, you can see, it's not super, super dirty, but it was dirty enough. So I'm going to get this all wiped down, and then we'll put some oil in it. All right, YouTube. We're going to fill this bad boy up. Um, because of this, I think this is like an air dam reflector or whatever. It goes, you know, air goes more into the uh, the cooling system. This is kind of a pain in the butt because we really can't get the funnel in there. So we're just going to pour it like this on an angle. Just kind of let it go down. Probably be easy to remove that, but fact of it is, is you have to unscrew that and that would unbolt from the gas tank and a whole nine yards. It's just kind of a crappy design. Actually, I may have something that may work. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, never mind. I mean, ever since I moved in this house from the last shop, I cannot find anything. Everything is still disorganized i thought i had a funnel extension the one that you use for like transmissions when you're putting fluid in them and i know i have one somewhere i guess we're just gonna have to do what we gotta do work with what we got even though this completely sucks it's not very fun i might be able to try to get in there without the funnel but i just don't want to spill the oil all over it really sucks. I wonder if you even need this air dam thing because this is retarded, honestly. I'm going to try to get this in here like this. There we go. But I'm not going to be able to tilt it up anymore. I'm already spilling oil all over the place. You know what? This would have been a great design if they didn't have this stupid thing in the way. I mean, this just blocks everything from it. You can't get oil poured in there. You can't get a funnel in there. So if you're going to do an oil change, guys, on this, get a funnel extension. Like I said, I have one somewhere. I can't tear this garage up over this oil change here. I'm going to end up finding it somehow, somewhere in this garage over the summer when I organize. But, you know, this is just making the job harder than it needs to be. Oil changes shouldn't be this hard on a small engine but just words up that's why i do these youtube videos and i got oil on my damn pants so i'm not too happy about that but i do these youtube videos for you guys so you guys can learn from what i'm doing and you can make the necessary steps so you don't have to go through what i'm going through but it's up to you. Either you can remove the two bolts on each side, and remember that's holding your gas tank down too, and get in there easier. Or B, you can get a funnel extension, which D, I would recommend that over anything. And this is really a crappy design jar because all the oil just keeps going all over the place with this thing. Just a piece of crap design. I might even end up moving this stupid... Uh, air dam thing out of here i really don't think i need it this tractor gets a ton of air anyways oh, there's shadow in the background probably barking at a squirrel uh, got an oil all over the garage floor this is messier than changing the oil This is just stupid. I don't mean to complain on camera, guys, but honestly, this is just stupid the way this is designed with this piece here. This is just dumb. It can't even get the maintenance done right on this thing. I love the tractor. I don't like this design. In fact, I'm on a mission. I'm probably going to take this piece of crap off. I do not need it on here. I do not think this engine is going to overheat whatsoever. Boy, this is a long video just pouring stupid oil down here. Anyways, guys, this is not what I thought it would be, so I'm shutting this camera off. All right, guys, I finally finished that up. I can't believe how long it took to do that. 
Um, I would either remove these bolts next time, take this stupid thing off so you can just pour the damn thing straight down in there or get a funnel extension. That's up to you. I'm probably going to end up just removing this stupid air thing. I don't feel I need it on here. There's a lot of tractors and stuff, older tractors that people have had that did not have them on there. And the engines last a long time, but that would be my decision if I do that or not. Well, oil's definitely on there, so it's got a lubricated engine. Can't complain there. Anyway, guys, this is Greg Me 2005. Sorry that this has kind of turned into a disaster oil change, but I did not speculate this oil change doing this but at least you guys know from my experience and my mistakes here anyways guys signing off guys